Welcome to my channel Engineering Hub. Today we are going to derive the relation for total pressure and center of pressure for vertically immersed surface, which is from fluid mechanics and hydraulic subject. Here is a liquid surface, which is OO, below which a vertically immersed surface is placed inside the liquid, so that the liquid surface will create the pressure on the surface. From this pressure, we can calculate the total force that are created by the liquid surface. That is called total pressure means total pressure is the force created by the liquid towards this body. The total pressure will act from a point called center of pressure. Here is some assumptions. A is area of particle surface. Gamma is specific weight of liquid which is equal to the product of density and acceleration due to gravity. Cg is center of gravity. Cp is center of pressure from which the total pressure will act. X bar is distance of CG from the free liquid surface and S bar is distance of center of pressure from free liquid surface. Now we will start to calculate the total pressure. To calculate the total pressure, a small section is considered here inside the body which is considered as a rectangle having the width B and depth Dx which is at a distance X from the liquid surface. Consider a small strip means a small section having having width small b and depth dx which is x distance below from the liquid surface which is x distance below from liquid surface. So now we can calculate the area of the small strip. Area of the strip. Small area dA which will be equal to the product of width and depth. Width is B, depth is Dx, product of base into height. And the pressure created by the liquid to the strip will be equal to the, the pressure on the strip calculated by using the product of density, acceleration to gravity and height. That is rho G H means product of rho and G is specific weight which is specific width is gamma and h means height the small strip is x distance below the liquid surface so height will be x now we can calculate the total pressure force means total pressure force on the strip total pressure force on the strip dp will be equal to the pressure into area product of pressure and area is pressure force we should calculate by tp multiplied by da that will be equal to the force so dp is gamma x and dm is b dx we calculate the total pressure on the on that strip but we are going to calculate the total pressure on the whole surface so what we do here is we should divide the whole surface into small strips so total pressure force on the whole surface will be equal to the sum of the total pressure force on the total small strips so this means we should calculate by adding this total pressure force for all the strips we taken here so adding means similar to the integration so total pressure on the whole surface P will be equal to the sum of the these small forces integration integration for what integration for this small pressure force dp so here dp is equal to gamma x b 
dx. So, specific weight for the given liquid is constant. So, we can take it out from the integration. That means, gamma, gamma integration x b dx means what? b dx means small area. b dx is small area or area of the strip. So, T A. So, now P will be equal to the gamma integration x dx means this is the summation of moment of small area or this is small area d a and x is distance so a it is the product of area and distance product of area and distance is called moment of area so this will be equal to moment of area of the whole figure moment of area is product of area and distance area of the whole figure is a and distance is distance is distance of the cg from liquid surface so we should take the distance x bar x bar so total pressure p is gamma a x bar here what we do is integration x dx is summation of product of area and distance that means moment of area so that should be equal to the moment of area is area total area is a and distance is distance from the center of gravity x bar so this is the expression for total pressure for the vertically immersed surface now we are going to calculate the center of pressure center of pressure is the point where total pressure will act for center of pressure center of pressure that means s bar distance of center of pressure from liquid surface is s bar so we should calculate the value of s bar so for that we should take the moment of the total pressure force on the strip moment of total pressure force is the product of total pressure force and distance of the strip from the liquid surface so moment of the total pressure force on the strip that is dm it is the product of pressure force is dp and distance distance from what distance from liquid surface to the strip we are calculating the moment of of this strip so we should take the distance of strip from the liquid surface that is x multiplied with distance x so now the value of dp is gamma a gamma x b dx gamma x b dx and into x now gamma x into x x square b into dx is b into dx is what a small area of strip that is da this is the moment of total pressure force on the strip now the moment of the total pressure force of the whole figure will be equal to the sum of the these small moments so total total moment m will be equal to the sum of the these small moments that is integration dm so here dm is equal to gamma x square t this is specific weight which is constant so we can take it out from the integration so remaining part is x square da now so here is the product of area a da means is area of the small strip and x is distance of this strip from the liquid surface so it is the product of area and square of the distance so this is the definition of moment of inertia moment of inertia means product of the area and square of the distance so this will be equal to the moment of inertia this is i not i not means 
moment of inertia of the of the surface with respect to liquid surface OO. So it is moment of inertia about liquid surface. So here m is equal to the gamma into I naught. So this is taken as equation first. Again, this moment is can also be calculated as the product of the total pressure of the whole figure and distance of the center of pressure. That means moment is equal to the total pressure and distance of Cp from from liquid surface OO. We already calculated the total pressure which is gamma A x bar, x bar. So total pressure is gamma A x bar multiplied with distance of Cp from the liquid surface. We consider the S bar is the distance of Cp from the liquid surface. So it is equal to the S bar. So now it is taken as equation 2. So we are calculating the total moment from two equations. From equation 1 and from equation 2. Both are the same value. So from equation first and second, these both are the total moment. So we can equal the right hand side value. That is gamma I naught is equal to gamma A X bar multiplied with S bar. So here is in both sides there is a gamma. So gamma is cancel out. So we are calculating the value of center of pressure S bar. So S bar is equal to I naught divided by A X bar. So we have from from parallel axis theorem we know that moment of inertia of our base is equal to the moment of inertia of our CG plus product of area and square of the distance. So this distance is the distance from the base and center of gravity. So this will become IG plus square of the distance which is the distance from base and CG. We already consider the distance of base means liquid surface and CG means center of gravity. So we already take on the this distance is X bar. We can write the value of H is S bar. S bar square. So now putting the value of I naught in in above equation we can get so putting the value of I naught in above equation S bar we can get S bar is equal to I naught I naught by A x bar I naught is I z plus A x bar square divided by A x bar so this whole divided can be separated into two parts that is i g by a x bar plus a x bar square divided by a x bar. So here is a a cancel out one s bar also cancel out. So what will remain i g by a x bar plus here is one x bar is remaining so x bar. This is the value of S bar center of pressure. So these are the two relations we derived. One is total pressure, another is center of pressure. So in this way we can derive the relation of total pressure and center of pressure for vertical immersed surface. If there is any confusion, please comment on the comment section and if you like the video, like and share the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel. In the next video, we will come with the new content. This much for today. Thank you.